It's a technology that's not been available before. The idea of these wireless sensor systems that allow for a significant reduction, in fact, almost the elimination of the labor costs and a significant reduction in the materials costs. Welcome to NAI 500 special coverage series, where we cover up and coming small cap stocks on the TSX Venture Exchange, the Canadian Securities Exchange, NASDAQ, and OTC markets. Earlier this week, we interviewed Ted Coney, Strategic Advisor for Airtest Technologies, ticker symbol AAT, on the TSX Venture Exchange. AAT designs, manufactures, and markets air monitoring, sensor, and control equipment that helps reduce energy usage while also ensuring sufficient ventilation in HVAC systems. Hi, Ted. Uh, thank you for joining us today for NAI 500 special coverage interview. Hey, Philip. Thanks for uh, thanks for having me for this interview. Appreciate it. You know, tell us who is behind Airtest and why should investors keep an eye on you? So, as you, as you pointed out, Philip, Airtest is uh, a green technology company. Uh, it's in the business of uh, manufacturing and deploying systems that improve the efficiency of one of the major components in most buildings, which is the HVAC or heating, ventilation and air conditioning systems. Uh, they've been in that business for over 20 years. They've managed to stay at the leading edge of the technology um, curve. And of course, what ends up happening is the opportunity is huge due to the fact that a lot of buildings are not um, equipped with the latest and greatest technology. Tell us about your suite of products and how they will revolutionize the HVAC industry. Sure. Okay. So, so basically when we talk about energy efficiency with, for, for HVAC or heating, ventilation and air conditioning, it's a case of understanding that because heating, ventilation, air conditioning consumes so much energy in building uh, operations that uh, with the advent of being able to better measure the amount of ventilation that's required, uh, and that typically is by measuring CO2 levels inside buildings, whether those are stores or schools or restaurants or um, airports, all places where the public can go. If you measure the CO2, then you can better uh, manage the amount of ventilation, better manage the amount of heating, better manage the amount of air conditioning that's required in that space. And so uh, the company lives by the mantra of you can't manage what you don't measure. That's the most important aspect. How it's revolutionizing the HVAC industry is that that methodology for measuring what the CO2 levels are is something that up until recently has been entirely on a wired basis. And the revolutionary part of this business and the reason people should keep an eye on it today is that in fact, by the advent of wireless sensors, you now can eliminate a lot of the labor and materials associated with installing a system in a retrofitted building. Airtest sells to a variety of different end users. Uh, some are intermediaries like contractors. So Airtest sells to HVAC contractors that deploy these sensor systems uh, for their customers and uh, it sells to end users. So end users being uh, the stores themselves. It also sells to uh, companies that incorporate some of the technologies that Airtest has in their own products. We, those are original equipment manufacturers or OEM manufacturers. So you've got OEM manufacturers that sell control systems that would incorporate uh, Airtest's uh, sensors and other, other technologies in their systems and then resells those. Airtest is currently targeting primarily uh, large retail store chains and specifically given the current scenario, not so much uh, uh, retail stores for a lot of the businesses that are going online, but, but specifically people like uh, grocery stores where uh, they've seen their businesses actually increased uh, as well as, uh, as places like schools uh, where in fact um, uh, there's a lot more concern today with indoor air quality. So those are the, the primary focuses for the company. To see the rest of the interview and learn more about AAT, please click the link on the screen.